You see me younger youths say I grew up brothers, look at you up brother I don't want to not run come take up badness and bone and jump in a crime and on a bad man and the body set a thing You know where bad man go? Turn it down there Down here so bad man go Down here so people when you look here, when you remember the party, you don't know I eat me go viral pan, you don't know and I still I tell you them say brother Put on your gun every day with their saw berry Right now tomorrow, tomorrow we have what? 18 brother 18 brother so no know watch ya The whole of so done And today they may have got you with So yes, actually done Brother, I'm gonna pull on your gun yes, I want to share that video ya To my view TV Make you shoot you up Make you out there sissy Gun and I know normal brother Brother, whole people tap dead I be a young people brother And a gun them and take up and a run go dead You run go in a badness today you're dead Tomorrow cause you're not having money for funny badness I wanna not follow here yeah? No just believe here yeah? Believe in a god youth No can shine the sun Eh? Eh? You look at your shiny son. On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah man, my viewers and subscribers, what a go on. A blessed and wonderful Thursday morning to each and every person out there tuning into On The Spot News Media. No, my peeps, I don't know how we do it over on this side each and every morning. We have to give thanks and praise to the Most High Creator for the preservation of life because life is indeed the greatest. So now the morning, I'm a peeps, I have a few stories for share with you, the regular members of Chan Public and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going on in Jamaica. So this morning, I'm a peeps, it's strictly about the parish of St. James. The parish dubbed the most murderous parish in the island of Jamaica. Now we are going to kick it off this morning with some breaking news. And of course, we are going to also hear from the superintendent that is in charge of the St. James Police Division as it relates to wanted men and persons of interest. Then of course, we are going to get into the main story. Now, on your screen is a cache of weapons that was seized by the Joint Anti-Gang Task Force. They have seized three rifles and four pistols and an estimated amount of 200 rounds of various type of ammunition in the Green Pan era of St. James. Three key members of the notorious Only the Family, that is the OTF gang has been apprehended and are currently in the custody of the police. The JCF continues their relentless efforts in ridding these communities of criminal elements who has been raking havoc on you, the regular members of Chan Public. So another decent spot of work again by the squad of them. Yeah man, a job well done. Three rifles, four pistols, and a whole heap of rounds. So, the head of the St. James Police, that is Senior Superintendent Vernon Ellis, is also urging persons on the JCF most wanted list to turn themselves in or face the consequences of not doing so. Now what this comes right on the heels after the parish's most wanted was taken out during an early morning operation in the Mount Salem community yesterday, that is Tuesday. That is, of course, we all know, 26-year-old Tevan Johnson, otherwise known as Poppy, who was reportedly taken out in a hail of bullets during a brazen gun battle with the police. Johnson was suspected of multiple counts of knockings and clappings with intent and also some fatal knockings and clappings and also illegal possession of firearms and ammunition. SSP Vernon Ellis stated that Johnson was told repeatedly by the police to surrender. So we are going to hear from the SSP 
as he stated this in a press release. Listen. Tevon Johnson, OC Poppy. Again, uh, we did a walk through in your community and we told you to turn yourself into the police. You didn't turn yourself into the police either. A confrontation, you were shot and killed by the police, weapons recovered. We are saying to you that when we put your names out, that you're persons of interest and you need to turn yourself into the police, you must do so. Well, on that list, we had put out Ocean Francis, O.C. Brocken as well. Now, it seems as if Francis is the only one left out there now. I'm using this opportunity to tell Ocean Francis, O.C. Brocken to turn yourself into the nearest police station that you can find immediately because the police teams are going to continue the pursuit until we catch up with you. So it is important, it's in your best interest, that you turn yourself into the police. So that was the voice of SSP Vernon Ellis, commanding officer of the St. James Police Division, with the warning before the canning. Yeah, man, a word to the wise. Now, the Mount Salem, knockings and clappings, the big war between both factions. We are talking about short man side of things. And we are talking about Little Zulu's slash broken side of things. Now, this warrior have other main persons who are playing integral roles in this war. And also fueling the continuation of such. There is also other factions and factors to consider when we're talking about what is happening in Mount Salem because it is not just Shartman and I've did vlogs on him so if you have not watched it please go over and watch we have done vlogs on Little Zulus we have done vlogs on Brokan we have done vlogs on Greedy we have done vlogs on many of these names the more controversial figures but we also have some other influencers that are very integral into the ongoing gang war in Mount Salem. Because these guys do not act alone. And in most cases, they are just the ones who is sending out the hits and not necessarily the trigger person behind most of these knockings and clappings. We have other small persons who want to make a name for themselves. And that is one of the reasons also why Poppy became a member of the Alliance Gang around Pigot Street. Because he wanted to make a name for himself and he couldn't do that under the wings of Shartman because Shartman reigned supreme as the leader of the RG Kana. So we are going to get into the whole of that right now so the ones and ones them can fully understand what is really what as it relates to the ongoing gang war in Mount Salem. Yeah, man. So I could start it off with a picture you presently on your screen. Now, on this picture, you can see a group of young men. But I'm pretty sure the ones and ones them from Salem and also that of Rohampton would definitely pick out a few faces that looks very much familiar. Now to the left of your screen, the one in the white marina and also the red and blue colored shorts and blue slippers. That criminal element that old dirty corner boy is known as Jerry. Now, I don't know how Jerry is not on the police list of most wanted because this dirty kind of boy is responsible for a portion of knockings and clappings, one of the main instigators in the CLM war. Now, this criminal element here needs to be sought after by the police. And if SSP Vernon Ellis did not know 
I hope somebody send this particular picture to him and name that particular person so that they can do more investigation into the character of this criminal element here and go after him with full force because he is one of the main culprits behind what is happening in the Mount Salem community. Now the man in the middle, Rohampton residence, I'm pretty sure you recognize that that is one of your members. The brother known as Butter, we get can up with the air. And we all know why Butter did end up get can up. Because Papi was in that community hiding from the long arms of the law and also his enemies. Now his enemies got word that he was in the company of that man and go pay them a visit and can him up. Yeah, man. So we have to understand the dynamics of things. Not because a knockings and clappings happen in a different area doesn't mean that it is not tied in to what is going on in the next. Now the next picture, of course, is the two criminal elements, partner in crime. We are talking about Papi, we all know. And of course, Jerry is the next man in the photograph. And as I stated before, Jerry is a known criminal element that is fueling the war in Mount Salem. Now, our next criminal element that we ought to take note of is this criminal here on your screen presently. He's known as Gummy. Many of the ones and ones them is definitely afraid to come out and say what they know and understandably so. Because no one no one get dirt because of something where them say probably them the business boat. But as I've always stated, it is the concern of everyone. Because at some point in time, it just may come knock on our doors. And of course, many of the ones and ones them have valid reasons as to why they don't come forward because of our corrupt criminal justice system we are talking about the police the politician everything the court system the judges the liars everything it is just one big web of corruption but to each his own i am still pushing forward that residents have to take a stand at some point in time because not all is lost not all cops are corrupt, not all judges are, not all lawyers are. So we just have to find the ones, take the time out and find the ones that we can put some level of trust in and just work with them in hopes that it will garner something better for us. We can't just drop arms and give up hope and just be like lamb to be slaughtered. Now, the other day, one of the first double knockings and clappings really kickstart this warrior into what it has become is the double knockings and clappings of Botty and Bo. Now, the other day, Bo was buried. And at Bo's funeral, the mother. Yes, the mother of Papi was there, stating her claim. Say a dem run Salem, and people need to know that. She also stated that people can record her saying that because I fear her son run the ground. Well, your son will be buried six feet under the same ground where you claim to say him run yeah man now you made those utterances when he was alive not knowing that his time is short-lived now i wonder what are you saying now that your defender is no longer here 
So sometimes as parents, we have to really be careful of the utterances that we make. Sometimes I really wonder, you know, why some of our mothers really have pitney. Because Uno are some real old crasmite. Now, this brother here presently on your screen, he was at the funeral standing over the casket of Bo. Now, this brother here is another Nakis and Clappis that we ought to take note of. He was also very instrumental in the knockings and clappings of Clive Larson. Now, this criminal element here goes by the name of Timmy. Now, I'm pretty sure people always are say on the spot, why always put out the youth them to make man come name them food and broke the plate. Well, let me tell you this. I now put out this for the criminal them because guess what? The criminal them already know all are who involved and all are who a criminal. How you think them did know if you go over Rahampton, go clap up can, pan butter. The criminal them know each other because in most cases, it's friend turn enemies. I'm doing this because sometimes the police need a little push start. But my main reason is to protect the innocent and the regular members of John Public who lives in these communities and literally don't know the full extent as to what is happening right around them. Some may know, I'm not saying that it's everyone, but I'm doing this for public awareness and also because these criminals sometimes migrate to other parishes and become thorns in the lives of other persons who have no business with what was happening in the communities that they came from. So this criminal element here, Timmy, is most definitely one to look out for. Now we are going to talk about another criminal element, one that I would describe as a switchy. Yeah, man, you can't trust a man with switch from one side of the fence to the enemy side. You cannot trust people like that. Now, this criminal element that presently on your screen has been identified as Dean. Now, unconfirmed reports, note, unconfirmed reports suggest that him get can up when Poppy met his demise. So I'm not for sure, but that is the unconfirmed reports stated. Now, why this criminal element here is not to be trusted and people definitely have to look out for people like this is that he used to be aligned to the broken Little Zulu's faction. And whatsoever happened between them, the friend turned enemies thing is definitely real, especially in Mobile. All heap of time, them start out as friend, and then at the end of the day, them are knock it and clap it on each other. So whatsoever happened between him and the broken faction, him switch up and go start par with the enemy. Him go start par with Papi trying to make a name for himself with Papi them. So that is how he got caught in the whole mix. Now you have other outside elements who is also very instrumental in what is happening. We have a brother from over flank of Sparta side there, so with them call Jolo. Now that brother there is also very instrumental in what is happening in the Mount Salem community. Now we have another criminal element here presently on your screen who has since been identified by two names, Stevan and Guthrie. Now, this brother is related to the Dan for Crawford Street, that a short man, baby mother. So, a basically short man, baby mother, brother, so to speak. He is originally from the Flankers community, rebel side to be exact. But he has been in and out of jail and he has a long history of crime and violence 
whilst in jail, even his girlfriend at the time was taken out by rivals. It is said that the rivals is said to be aligned to little Zulus at the time. Now, this criminal element here also cannot be trusted. This brother here, finger fearing. The man them call him a gun thief. So this brother here have a whole heap of enemies and any side can definitely touch the brother here. But he now resides in the Mount Salem community. Why? Because he cannot venture back a flankers. He cannot venture back a gully where he used to par. He cannot venture back a Cambridge also where he used to par. Because him thief the man them strap so now he has a price tag also on his head and why i'm saying this anyone who affiliates themselves with the likes of this brother is likely to meet their demise when his enemies catch up with him <laughs> yeah man now this last video i present on your screen that may have a feature before closing the one in the red hat is known as Gummy. The red hat and the pretty pretty t-shirt. This brother has a RG Connors, fully Sparta. Now you don't know say RG Connors run by Shartman. And this brother also have a strong link with Jolo. So this brother here also is very instrumental in what is happening in the Salem community. So these are other names and faces that you are to look out for in these communities, both as citizens and also as members of law enforcement. These criminal elements are very much instrumental in what is happening and I've done previous vlogs that gave a listing of the other side which is the broken little zulus faction and this is the next side mostly that is going up against them so we have to create the balance there so that the ones and ones them can see that there is no bias because when it comes to criminal elements on the spot news media cares zero as to which side you are clapping can for. Once you clap can and I create havoc in the lives of the regular members of Chan Public who want to go about their regular business and live a normal life. No, we are gonna definitely have a problem with that. You see, if it not affect John Public, nah go affect me neither. But once John Public is affected you will be pointed out yeah man a word to the wise so anyway my peeps remember to like share subscribe to the channel stay tuned to on the spot news media as i continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast on the spot news media yeah man